What's your favorite episode of The Office, guys? American Office, not British. Fuck off. No one thinks you're interesting because you like the British Office more. What's your favorite episode? I think mine is the chili cook-off cold open, and that's it. Pro tip, don't leer at people. <laughs> you haven't watched it? Wait, you don't like The American Office? Okay, The American Office is actually pretty good. It's very wholesome. It's good stuff. Never seen The Office. Wait, what is wrong with you guys? What the fuck? Any Christmas episode. I agree, Spider Kowski. Christmas episodes are good. Yeah. It's good shit. That's a good show. It's by the same people that did Parks and Rec, which I hope you have watched. Same people. Anyway. Um, shockingly, the people that wrote The American Office and Parks and Rec did not write this that we're about to watch. Although it is called The Office. Uh, the Prager U Office Holiday Party. Let's see how this shit show goes. It's been a long year, okay? Premium gas for my Beamer is like $6 a gallon now. It's like $3 a gallon. It's cheaper than it was under George W. Bush in 2006, bro. We found out Dave Chappelle Dave is an anti-trans bigot, and the homeless dude outside my apartment poops on the ground more than my dog Rocky does. So, as head of the CPP, Committee to Plan Parties, I am going to make sure that this year's holiday party isn't ruined by some knucklehead going around screaming Merry Christmas to people or people singing racially insensitive holiday songs. Good. Good stuff. All right, everyone. My name is Will Witt. My have brown hair, brown eyes. I'm six foot four. And my pronouns Will, are Will, we've been he. working here for years. We know who you are. And uh, you're definitely not 6'4". Check your privilege, buddy. Okay? This is a safe space. What are they doing? What are they... That would be a good joke. I honestly think, because, you know, I'm assuming this is an office bit where the cameras are on. That's actually kind of a good joke. Say, my name is Will Witt. I'm 6'4". That's funny. That's a funny joke. But the rest of the joke was just him saying buzzwords about SJWs from 2016. That was a fine thing. You're really yucking my yum, all right? Now, let's talk about a... That's not what was happening. few quick announcements for this year's holiday It would party. be funny if you established the character was stupid. Okay, we have a, a diverse staff full of all sorts of different people. We have Jewish people who celebrate Chanaka, right? We have atheists who celebrate nothing. Diwali, right? And Amla celebrates Kwanzaa. I celebrate Christmas just like everybody else. Like, does anybody here have a problem with Christmas? I'm Jewish. I don't really care. I don't think anybody... Are they pretending that people care? Is, it, is this the bit that people give a shit about that? <laughs> yucking my yum is pretty... Oh, I, I say don't yuck my yum or I'm not going to yuck your yum. But it wasn't... That wasn't what was happening. Yucking your yum is saying... Is like, well, I, I, I like something, you don't like it, and you go, that's bad. That's yucking your yum, but you know, didn't occur. I don't think anyone gives a shit. Well, holiday, like, is this a thing? Like, what is the war on Christmas shit? Like, it's still happening. Are we war on Christmasing, guys? I missed the memo. I'm gonna. I like Christmas. Is that fucking weird? I think we all like Christmas. It's fine. It's a holiday. It's cold out. Baby, you know, Christmas is neat. Yeah, it's fine. Going for the Michael Scott vibe. It didn't, it's not working. And I'm offended that you assume that I celebrate Kwanzaa just because I'm black. Listen, man, you don't know how oppressed you really are. What the fuck? Okay, now let's get back on track. I know everyone was really looking forward to the, the white elephant gift exchange, but we all know that white is racist. So we're doing a rainbow elephant exchange, okay? You know what would be funny? You know what would be a funny bit <clears throat> is if in this, like, I could do this bit and make this actually funny to watch for four minutes. I could do a tight four-minute skit on this. Um, I could play the character that Will Witt's playing, and you'd be, like, ignorant of this. It could be, you could be making fun of liberals who just go too far in trying to acquiesce to the woke demands of the lefties. And the lefties in the room who he is trying to acquiesce to would say, like, it's not that big a deal. You don't have to be like that. Like, it's fine. Like, he's overcorrecting. The joke would be overcorrecting. Not that he's doing it at all, right? 
Because right now the joke is just that he's the SJW in the group and nobody else is the SJW. But a funnier joke, a much more well-timed, or much more well, um, I guess, themed joke, uh, which Prager you would never have the smarts to do, obviously, would be just like the lefties and the, and the you know, it would unstrawman the lefties. Um, yeah, it would just be like, I'm offended that you thought I did Kwanzaa because I'm black. And he goes, you don't know how oppressed you are. And they go, he goes, yeah, I do. <laughs> or something, you know what I mean? Like, sure, I do. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Will, stop it. You're being weird. And I like the I like the Kwan, the Kwanzaa joke is actually funny. That's a very Michael Scott thing. Did he do that actually just to uh, 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 Stanley in there when they did the Diwali thing? Like that was fun. That's fine. I get it. The Chanaka thing could work. Still think the I'm six four joke is kind of funny if it was delivered by a funny person. But nope. There's there's a I'm mad that there's actually space here because the, the office has been so long that you could do a parody on this and make it work. Nope. And it's going to be even more fun because what's more fun than having white people give gifts to minorities for reparations, right? Is that what he thinks reparations are? Like, is that, that'd be another strong, like, I'm going to assume they think that what reparations are white people giving black folks money or something. That's fascinating. Now, the most important part of any party is safety, obviously. So I know you all have heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you ever heard of Fauci on a couchy. And he has a special message for all you guys. Hey, I'm Dr. Fauci. Make sure you're wearing your mask and staying six feet apart. And if you don't, I'm going to report you to the government and make sure that you go on lockdown. So, everybody got the rules. Let's all say thank you to me. I actually like the Fauci on a couchy. If it was cute. Now I know a lot of you ah, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> you guys for the Rainbow Elephant are worried about the prices of gifts right now because of so-called supply chain issues and so-called inflation. But you guys just need to lower your expectations, okay? So Will's been imposing all these rules that no one can celebrate Christmas, but he's not even following them. The other day I'm walking down the hall and he's writing a letter to Santa Claus on his lunch break. Can you believe this guy? Who's got the number for Project Veritas? Oh my fucking god, dude. This is so cr Do people find this funny? This is so sad to me. This is actually... F <sighs> Look, I don't I don't like Will Witt at all and don't really care about his well-being. Like, I, sorry, Will. You don't care about me. Yeah, let's be real. And I am, like, embarrassed for him that he did this. Isn't that wild? Like, my empathy is not so little for Will Witt that I can't feel bad about this. Now, Keegan, I know you were really looking forward to playing Santa this year, but we want black Santa, black woman Santa. So, Amala, you are our new Santa. I don't even want to be Santa. Honestly, like, the suit's way too big, and if anybody sits on me, they're going to crush me. Amala, no fat shaming here. Doing this is a tough job, all right? Fighting for racial injustice. So, just, just suck it up and do it for your people. This could be a good Michael Scott joke. That could be good. Like, they've, they've done, like, those sensitivity conferences. The Oscar one comes to mind. But it's like, they're just lifting every joke from the audience. Like, it's just not funny because they they haven't... What the fuck is the audio mixing? It's bad. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just... It, you have to establish the rapport with the audience to have this kind of thing. Or it just comes across as, like, really fucking lame. Huh. Hey, hey, where are you guys going? Like, guys, they'd have to change the jokes, but, like, it could be funny, some of the stuff. We have important things to discuss, mostly gender theory and CRT. Get back here. If you leave now, Christmas party is canceled. I mean, holiday party is canceled. It's canceled. Christmas is canceled. God, he's such a bad actor, though. So I didn't know this, but apparently everyone who works here is a complete racist. I just feel bad for the minorities here. I mean, why don't we just have a new holiday called nothingness or his delivery is so bad. Everything. Is this why he works for Prager U? Is, is he a failed actor? That's definitely, that's definitely the case, right? Will Witt went out, tried to be an actor and ended up here. I'm not crazy, right? He thought he was Dave Franco. Turns out he's just Dave, just a guy. 
thing mess. I mean, to be honest, I, only charisma could save it. them. There's no reason why we don't just cancel Christmas. From... Sure. What's up? I got you this. I'm not supposed to take gifts from minorities. Yeah, I know you said that, but everybody deserves a Christmas gift. The mute, the the audio is really fucking awful. Did they do this on an iPhone? Get out of here. Happy holidays. You know what? Maybe Christmas isn't so bad after all. And all this time that I've been Taylor, put down those talkings. Anyway, Merry Christmas from everyone here at Prager U. Jesus fucking Christ. That was actually really terrible. I'm surprised. I'm like genuinely surprised that that was so fucking bad. I had higher standards for Prager than that. And I guess I was wrong. <laughs> That's silly as fuck, dude. That was so incredibly cringy. Where was fucking Dennis Prager? Exactly. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, Prager you. I'm not going to say nice things about right-wingers or you, uh, and I'm going to expressly say how much money you paid me to do it, but you guys should pay me money to fix your shit. Like, make it funny. You know what I mean? It will get less right-wing, though. Because right-wing stuff isn't funny. But we will be better and more funny. Just saying. 